Passing the elusive command through commander. Shepard, we caught a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corliss system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. Are you sure this information is good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. We have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Radar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no mass effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. softened it for the Turians. The missing colonists might be aboard, if they're still alive. The Collectors use these on Horizon. Horrible. Trapped in these pods, completely at the mercy of the Collectors. What? Why are these here? Must have been used for testing. I'd say these subjects didn't pass. They're dead. Nothing we can do. Keep moving. That's a collector. Were they experimenting on one of their own? Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. Are they looking for similarities? I have no hypothesis on their motivations. All I have are the preliminary results. They reveal something remarkable. A quad-strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure, the Protheans. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. I can't believe the species still exists. These are no longer Prothean, Shepard. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. 
No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I have already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta Cluster, but there are signs of extreme alteration. Three fewer chromosomes, reduced heterochromatin structure, elimination of superfluous junk sequences. I wouldn't want to live as some kind of mutated slave. Killing a collector is probably doing it a favor. Whatever they used to be, the collectors work for the Reapers now, and we still have to stop them. No species should have to suffer through that. Let's find what we need before the collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Look on the ceiling. More of those strange pods. There must be hundreds. How many are full? Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. Commander, you gotta hear this. On a hunch, I asked Edie to run an analysis on this ship. I compared the EM profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. They are an exact match. The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. This is unbelievable. They could take every human in the Terminus systems and not have enough to fill these pods. They're going to target Earth. Not if we stop them. There, on the platform. Looks like some kind of control panel. Has anyone else wondered why we haven't seen any collectors? Living or dead? Edie, I'm setting up a bridge between you and the collector ship. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Can't be good. What the hell just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap. regained control of the platform, Shepard. I thought we were gonna have to take on every damn collector here. Perhaps you should consider upgrading my hardware. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found the Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. What are you getting at? Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is present, but corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? That son of a bitch sent us right into collector hands. And here I thought I'd had my betrayal and attempted murder for this year. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move. We're out of time, Commander. We have to go. You heard the man. Everybody onto the Normandy. Move! Strap in, people! I'm gonna make him work for it this time.
you've got a few words for him, too. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Cut the act. You set us up, and you better have a damn good reason for it. We needed information on the Omega-4 relay. That required direct access to collector data. It was too good an opportunity to pass up. Agreed. But I don't like surprises, especially when my ass is on the line. I put you at risk, yes. But without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. You have one job. Information. If I can't trust your intel, you're useless to me. It's never that simple. You of all people should know that. I know that I'll be a lot more careful. With the Collectors, and with you. This is no time for petty grudges. Things are about to get a lot tougher. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced Identify Friend Foe system that the Relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I'm guessing you have a plan. We have a science team working on a derelict Reaper right now. I need you to go and pick up its IFF. Where did you find a derelict Reaper? An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target, a 37 million year old derelict Reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Aren't brown dwarves basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. I only believe you because I doubt you'd repeat yourself so soon. It's no less a risk, Shepard. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the Collector data banks. Necessary risk. He tries something like that again and the Collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is gonna work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the Collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. Can't be right. Edie doesn't make mistakes. The Collector homeworld is located somewhere in the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction, space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. 
The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy, and we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays in the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. Tough choice. Continue to build up the team, or go investigate the derelict Reaper. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. Shepard, important news. Know you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. We'll go to Tachanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. Chambers said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong. Tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to... I don't know. See? Why do that? What's wrong? I will not tolerate outbursts on my ship. Get a hold of yourself. I'm trying. When we're moving, fighting, there's no problem. But here, my blood makes noise. It's screaming. I've got no past to lead me. The tank gave nothing about itching plates and losing control. I want you in the infirmary. I can't have some Krogan disease running rampant. Your doctors only see victims of Krogan. My kind do not share with aliens. Not after the genophage. We won't find someone who's seen this. A Krogan my age would still be on the homeworld, Tuchanka. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel, named Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. What do you need? When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds. But that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. You're dangerous too. As are you. But she is different. Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, 
there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Isn't she only deadly to the people she mates with? Each time she kills, she becomes stronger, smarter, and faster. And she's been doing this for 400 years. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. If we have time, we'll deal with it. There is one thing more. This creature, this... monster. She is my daughter. I needed to know this a long time ago. I present no danger to anyone besides my own children. And this is not easy to speak of. Even 400 years after I learned it. My daughter's condition is my fault. And my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. I need my crew to be good at their jobs and keep their personal lives personal. I understand. Nonetheless, if there is time, I would like to go to the Afterlife nightclub on Omega. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. If there's time, maybe we can go to Omega. Shepard. I heard you wanted to speak with me. Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. I've got time. Take it at your own pace. Thank you. I fear I've already done that for too long. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. All right, you spawned. Organic species tend to do that. Is that all you wanted to talk about? There have been... complications. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become... disconnected. He does what his body wills. Just give it to me straight. I'm not interested in your philosophical BS. He has gone to the Citadel, and has gained a job as a hitman. I could discover no more. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. Aria Talo, Omega. Emily Wong. Citadel. Fred Mazai, Citadel. Donnell Udina, Omega. Armando Bailey, Citadel. David Anderson, Citadel. Praetor Gavorn, Omega. Kalisa bint Sinan Algilani, Citadel. Keeper 20, Citadel. Matriarch Etheta, Ilium. Erdnot Torsk, Tachanka. Elias Kellum, Citadel. Oh. 
Okir, test subject number 317, alias Grunt. Ilya. <laughs> Just a car, Samara. Helium, 